Virginia Triathlon, there are only winners and participants. And I am a master participant. It hasn't been an easy road. I spent a long time showing up. You too can be a master participant if you learn how to show up. I'm going to tell this story in three parts which is one part more than I knew a triathlon had when I started. <laughs> Obviously, you don't have to be smart to do this. <laughs> part one, the swim. I used to think I could only swim in 82 degrees chlorinated pool that I could see the bottom of. That is incorrect, because as soon as you become a certified participant, you can ignore those pesky signs that say, danger, no swimming, you might die. In Virginia, you can swim in a river, you can swim in a lake, and you can swim in the bay. In the river, don't worry about the diesel fuel. It's good for your teeth. And in a summer-cooked lake, don't worry about the next three days. Just consider it a detoxifying cleanse. <laughs> and in the bay, you might die. I almost did. Don't be like me. <laughs> consider it an eco-tour without the boat. Because not only do you get to see the water, you get to feel the water, and you get to taste the water. No wonder we all swim so goddamn fast. We want to get out of the water. When you do a triathlon, one thing you have to master is a piece of gear known as the rental wetsuit. When they give you that wetsuit, they give you the wetsuit and a bucket of lube. I can't tell you about the last time I had to use lube to get into a costume. I mean, I can tell you, but I'd have to charge it by the minute. So you go home with this rental suit and you cover yourself with lube just like any other Friday night. And you play the hokey pokey. You get your right foot in, and you get your left foot in, and you get it up about to your knees, and then the fun starts. You're going left, you're going right, you're going left, right, left, right, and the next thing you know, you're Miley Cyrus twerking your heart out. And that's when it hits you. You're going to have to do this in public, in 18 inches of space, because that's all you're allocated because next to you is the guy in the Speedo doing the same damn thing. Oh my God. Assuming you survive the swim, there is part two, the bike. Now that sounds fun, because who doesn't like to go out for a ride on their bike? Until the locals go by in their cars and they laugh at you, and you're wondering, why do they laugh? Could it be because I'm wearing Frankensuit? <laughs> the triathlon suit is akin to the 1970s gym suit we wore in class for PE. It is not a bathing suit, although the top is a bathing suit, which is a problem I will get to in a moment. The bottoms are running shorts, and anyone my age does not want to be seen in public in running shorts. And in between your legs, are the bike padding for bike kit. It is Frankensuit. No wonder the locals are laughing at you, dumbass. <laughs> Assuming you survive the swim and the bike, now you're on dry land and you are running. And previously, my only experience with running was to the bathroom. <laughs> this was an obstacle I had to overcome. But it is not the scariest thing in the triathlon. The scariest thing is that predator known as teenagers. Teenagers serving off charity service points by volunteering at a triathlon. 
They line up every mile on the 3.1 mile run to serve you beverages. Oh yes. You get three choices. Number one is water. I know what that is. <laughs> Number two is heed. I'm not quite sure, but I think it's grown up Pedialyte. <laughs> Number three is splash. Huh. After an hour and a half, I'm not thinking very clearly. And splash sounds perhaps like maybe it has vodka in it? <laughs> Possibly? If so, triathlon has become my favorite goddamn sport. <laughs> so I say to the little teenager, yes, splash! Ah! 40 degree water is now splashed <laughs> on my chest. My chest, which is a bathing suit without any padding. And while I am pointed to home, three of us are now pointed home. <laughs> right in time for the man with the triathlon photography equipment with a big goddamn zoom lens. I don't need revenge porn. I have my own damn porn. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Teenage Devils number two. When you're in the triathlon, they think it would be convenient to be able to identify your body if you drowned. So they mark you with your race numbers. And who writes your race numbers on your arms? Little teenage girls. They also write your number somewhere else. Right here on your thigh. Moms and dads, let me ask you. Do you want your 14-year-old teenage girl on her knees in front of a strange man feeling up his thigh? <laughs> when I saw that, I did what any indignant middle-aged woman would do. I ran to my swim bag and got my own damn Sharpie. And I ran down there, pushed the young girl aside and said, I can handle this. <laughs> I was so mad when the official took my Sharpie away and made me get back in the competitor's pit. There's one more number that they write on you that I swear if I had known that I would face this indignity, I would have never agreed to do the triathlon after my third glass of wine when I was trying to chat up that really cute guy. <laughs> the little girl looks at me and she says, how old are you? I said, none of your fucking business, why? <laughs> she said, I have to write it on your leg. Oh, no you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I'll write it myself. No, you won't. All right. Just between you and I, I'm going to whisper it and you're going to put it on my leg, okay? Fifty. Oh, my God! She's fifty years old! She looks really good for someone who's almost dead! <laughs> the reason they want this information is that as you're going towards the finish line, you see two things. You see the MC who you don't care about. You see the finish line and you see that damn photographer again. And as you're crossing it for the first time, you hear, and Cavazos from Vienna, Virginia. She's 51 years old. And the picture of me coming across the finish line is, <laughs> too can be a participant. <laughs> but don't clap for me. This week, honest to God, the NCAA voted almost unanimously to recognize women's triathlon as a college sport. As of today, 90 universities have signed up to allow women to have the opportunity